Hello fellow gardeners, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to this new video where we will explore together how to cultivate saffron, how to harvest it, and how to dry it. I hope you enjoy this video, and if that's the case, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment to encourage me to translate all the videos from my French channel, La Bible du Jardinage. Enjoy watching! One presentation. Saffron is the powder produced by the stigmas of the saffron crocus, Crocus sativus. It's a plant that belongs to the iris family. It comes in the form of a small autumn bulb, about six inches tall, which will produce purple flowers around the month of October. You can get these bulbs from August onwards at garden centers or by mail order. Before you dive in, be aware that if saffron is so expensive in the market, there's a reason for it. Indeed, to obtain 0.035 ounces of saffron, you will need to harvest approximately 150 flowers. The cultivation itself is no more complicated than any other flower, but where it becomes tedious is when you have to harvest the stigmas and dry them. Two, soil and exposure. The saffron crocus thrives in light, sandy, or clay limestone soils, especially those that are well drained. If you feel your soil is too heavy, lighten it by adding sand or peat. As for the sunlight, you'll want to choose a sunny location for it. Three, planting. Planting should be done from July to mid-September for blooming in October, starting in the first year if your bulbs are large enough. To achieve this, choose bulbs with a size equal to or greater than eight. If they are too small, they will only bloom the following year. Plant your bulbs, tips facing upward, at a depth of four to six inches in rows spaced 8 inches apart, and leaving 4 inches between bulbs in the row. Do not water the bulbs after planting because they are dormant until fall. In a temperate climate, watering is generally unnecessary for this plant, but you can still water in September in case of drought. 4. Maintenance and care. Weed your planting regularly to achieve optimal production. Regularly eliminate the burrows of mice and voles that will enjoy your bulbs year round. 5. Avoiding diseases. Three fungi can affect saffron. Tacon causes brown ulceration and dry rot. Fusarium, attacks the bulb, leaving an orange fringe on the border of the healthy part. Violet rhizoctonia, causes soft rot. It's a highly contagious disease also known as, saffron death. 5. All these diseases are resistant to most fungicides. However, they typically only appear from the third or fourth year. As a result, it's enough to remove the bulbs, for instance, starting from the third year, and replant them in a different location. It's better not to revisit the same plot for around a decade. 5. The Harvest Afron crocuses are in bloom for two to four weeks starting from early October. Each flower lasts no more than 48 hours. To preserve all the qualities of saffron, it is necessary to harvest the newly opened flowers or their stigmas daily, early in the morning. The flowers typically appear in early October, later in the first year, with the blooming period extending over a month. Two.
two harvesting methods are possible. In the case of a small number of flowers, you can leave the flower in place and extract only the three red filaments of the stigma using tweezers. This operation is called emasculating. For large quantities of flowers, it is more practical to harvest them as they bloom and then recover the red stigmas comfortably seated around a table. In this latter case, for emasculation, you can use either your nails or small tools such as scissors, tweezers, forceps, etc. Emasculation should be done right after picking the flowers to make this process easier. The yellow stamens and purple petals have no use. Important. After flowering, do not cut the plant's leaves. Their presence is necessary for the bulb to regenerate and produce bulblets. 6. Drying. Tea is necessary to dry the filaments to be able to preserve them. Drying can be done by placing the stigmas on a sieve in a well-ventilated environment at temperatures between 104 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, for about 15 minutes. Ventilated drying cabinet, partially open oven, in the outdoor sun, etc. After drying, the filaments are very light and brittle. Fresh saffron, even when dried, has very little flavor. It is recommended to store it in a small airtight jar, protected from light, for at least a month before consumption. During the two years following, saffron retains most of its flavor. It takes about 150 flowers to obtain 0.035 ounces of dry saffron. In the first year of planting, approximately 60% of the bulbs will produce a flower. In the following two years, the bulbs will produce about two flowers each. This video is now finished. Thank you for watching it until the end. I hope you enjoyed it, and, more importantly, that it was helpful to you. If that's the case, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up to encourage me to continue translating all of my French videos. Also, feel free to let me know in the comments if the artificial intelligence translation is correct or not. See you soon, friends, for the next video. Goodbye.